kept secrets travel. Now you've decided that you're going to a country, you really want to take a camera with you, you've got a camera of your own for your birthday or you've had one for a couple of years or you're borrowing one for a parent or a mate or whatever or you know you've got the option to take different cameras like we've got a few options here how are you going to decide which one to take mm -hmm. i think the key thing is i think one of the first things we actually do look at is the baggage that we're going to take and the length of the trip I normally just try and see how much I can fit in my bag, if I'm honest. <laughs> we do normally try and max that out, and we will yeah. talk about that in our next camera episode where we talk about how we pack our bags and how you can really be cheeky about batteries and the weight of batteries, so don't stress too much about those. Mm -hmm. Especially if you want some of the trips we've been on, we've taken, you know, four, six, eight DSLR batteries or drone batteries, they weigh quite a lot now. These are the things which you might be worrying about, but we will talk about and cover in future episodes. But I think one of the key things is you might be stressing about your baggage limit. You might be thinking, oh, do I need DSLR and I, do I need a GoPro? Actually, I might take my old GoPro because I don't want to risk that one on certain things. But then at the same time, I want to capture and film. Oh, I need to take loads of film roll. These are the things which we've gone through ourselves and we've made the mistake. Yeah. So I've been on holidays and taken six rolls of film and realized I've only shot two or I've gone the exact opposite way and wish I've got more. 